Okay, we're on. Okay. Hi everyone, this is Colleen Big supporting the 30 delegates walking for peace and reunification of Korea tomorrow, Sunday, May 24th, International Women's Day for Peace and Disarmament. We're at Yangakdo International Hotel in Pyongyang, North Korea. This will be our final press conference before we leave for Kaesong, where we will be crossing the DMZ tomorrow morning. We may not have any internet connection after we leave for Kaesong, so we wanted to update you beforehand. This is a bit of an experiment, obviously, so please excuse the rough patches and the brevity of 15 minutes. So we have Christine Ahn, <clears throat> lead organizer of the walk, Gloria Steinem, writer and activist, delegate, Moraid Maguire, Nobel Peace Prize laureate from Ireland, delegate, and Susie Kim, professor of Korean history at Rutgers. So Christine will now give a brief intro, and then our representatives will take questions from press only. Good morning from Pyongyang. It's, um, it's a wonderful thing to be having a live press conference from Pyongyang DPRK. Um, we've been here for the last four days. We've been meeting with North Korean women. We've been able to visit hospitals and schools and get a glimpse of life in North Korea. And this morning we are about to board a bus to go to um, the reunification monument. Um, this is kind of an image of where we're heading towards. It's, um, it's a monument that's on the outskirts of Pyongyang, on the road towards Kaesong, where the DMZ is. And you can see the two Korean women holding up one Korea. And uh, yeah, so we will begin our journey today. And tomorrow we will cross um, the DMZ at Kaesong, um, which is a wonderful thing. The two governments um, have agreed that that's the road that we will take. And we're here to support peace and reconciliation. And we are celebrating the fact that we bought one-way tickets here to Pyongyang. And now we get to cross the DMC and be greeted by thousands of women in South Korea, where we will join hands with them and, and walk for peace and, and the end of the Korean War. OK, so now, press, we have a few minutes for questions. Please state your name and press affiliation before your question. I will only take short questions with your name and affiliation stated beforehand. Press, any questions? Maybe in the meantime, should we have Gloria? Sure. <clears throat> yeah. sure. Uh, my name is Gloria Steinem. I'm one of the delegates on this Peace Walk and really uh, honored in a huge way to be one of the women from more than a dozen different countries who are making this walk because the women who are citizens of North Korea and South Korea are forbidden to walk on the DMZ. So we are walking on their behalf. We are walking on behalf of peace, uh, of contact, human contact with each other, and of course of human rights. One of our biggest considerations from the beginning was that we include in our declaration of purpose human rights, understanding that that had been used in many political ways that it shouldn't and might prevent us from doing this at all. It's there, it's in the statement, it was agreed to by both North and South Korea, and I think that that is a huge, huge victory. So we are free to go forward and to say, as everyone knows, that uh, lack of contact and isolation allows human rights abuses to flourish that huge military budgets create uh, an uh, imbalance that punishes uh, and deprives people of human oh, rights. Oh, we have a question. Sorry. Kathy Novak, CNN. Are your minders there aware you have been periscoping video live from Pyongyang? No. Well, yeah, I, I think that, what? Well, yeah, we did tell them that we are Oh, this. yes. Oh, I thought you meant were they present. No, they're not here in no, the room No, 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 they're us. not. <laughs> we're, we're, we're free to say whatever we yeah, wish, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sorry. we have been. We haven't been censored in the, in the least bit. We've yes. Been, you know, they've been so accommodating. They provided us internet access, DSL line. Um, we're able to use the phone. We're able, I mean, you're able to use this iPhone right now through a SIM card. I mean, we've been granted... Um, free, unfettered access to connect with the world. And I think that is a huge step in um, building some kind of trust and mutual respect so that we can continue on this journey to be a bridge to connect women from North and South Korea and um, the people of North Korea with the world. Lee Stahl from StahlStreet.com, do you feel physically safe at all times? Well, Mairead, how about Mairead say some things? Yes, I feel perfectly safe at all times. 
We have been met with great kindness, great courtesy by all the people we met. Um, we had a conference uh, yesterday with over 100 women, North Korean women, all of whom are active in their communities, working for change, working for peace. And their very clear message to us was that we don't want war, uh, we want a peace agreement, uh, we want our, the families to be united, uh, and that we believe that this is possible when people link together, talk and have dialogue. So it's very, very encouraging to me this passion, if you want, for peace. I think people don't really think very much that since 1953, the people of North Korea have lived in, uh, in um, under uh, a ceasefire, not with a full peace agreement, and that's a very precarious way to live. So we definitely need a full peace agreement. And I hope that President Obama will, and uh, um, the Secretary General of the UN will move forward to negotiate on a proper peace agreement for the people of North and South Korea. So Christine Porter uh, asks, have you had meaningful contact with the women of North Korea? We have had meaningful contact. We, uh, we are not uh, ignorant of the fact that there are res restrictions here. I mean, this, you know, it's perfectly clear, uh, but when you have as many days of, of constant human conversation as we have had without anyone listening unfettered, it's possible to get beyond those restrictions. We understand that women here and men live with those restrictions day to day, but this has been a window. And if I may add, um, at our peace symposium, um, you know, we had this, um, we had, you know, great exchange, great dialogue where women were speaking about the impact of war on women and children and in their communities. But we also had this um, stitching ceremony that was prepared. It, we brought um, cloth, uh, a quilt from um, the United States made by Korean women diaspora. And, uh, and the North Korean women had a quilt prepared. And so we did the stitching ceremony that was about reuniting Korea and the role of women in, in playing that role. And, um, you know, we had said, oh, well, would it be possible to sing a song together? And, you know, it just, with the, the schedule didn't really uh, accommodate it. But spontaneously, the, the North Korean women began to sing this song. This is a song that is sung throughout the Korean Peninsula, north and south. It's called, Uriye Sohwan and Tongyeo. You know, we are we are appealing, we want reunification. And it was this beautiful moment where tears were shed. I mean, the general that was there speaking about the impact of the war, and she was a medical doctor, you know, she was just weeping. And um, I had this uh, moment where um, one of the women who spoke about the Korean War and, and how, um, how she, she lost her hands um, through a very atrocious uh, event during the Korean War, you know, she basically came up to me and with her, um, with her sleeve, you know, wiped away my tears. So yes, there's been incredible human connection, and this would not be possible were we not physically here. We have to be here. We have to engage. We have to um, remove policies that restrict this kind of mm -hmm. human connection. That's what we're trying to mm -hmm. do. Could could I just say something about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 hormones in us, the chemicals that allow us to empathize with each other as human beings, do not work on the screen and do not work on paper. Mm -hmm. Neurologists will tell you they only are generated when we are physically together with all of our senses. And that does not mean that all of our communication is not useful, but it does mean that nothing on earth can replace being in the same space with all five senses to allow empathy to happen. So there's another question from um, Richard uh, Duarte from Daily Herald, have you been able to travel freely about the city? The truth is we haven't had time to travel <laughs> freely anywhere, about, right? about, about the city uh, because... We about that yesterday, which is surreal, because here we were trying to use the phone line and one of the tragic realities of the division is that you can actually use the international phone lines here to call any other place in the world except South Korea, mm -hmm. and so it took Four, three days to basically call South Korea through Skype 
using a VPN to make sure that um, it wasn't originating, or at least seemingly originating from Pyongyang. And so we had this very tearful and joyful um, reunion online last night and trying to confirm exactly what um, the plan would be tomorrow to connect. And we got confirmation that they would be sending a um, shuttle or bus um, to the last um, checkpoint on the southern side um, to greet us. And we would be taken to the Tordasan station, which is the last train station on the southern side um, that was reconnected but never actually made the trip um, into uh, Pyongyang. And so we're tremendously excited. Um, we managed to connect by, by um, voice yesterday, and we're, um, we're just thrilled that we're going to be able to see them tomorrow. I think okay. we're just breaking barriers and boundaries, and that's why these kinds of events are so, so precious and so, so important. We're taking... Um, we're taking our last questions. Yes, I'm sorry, the connection is flaky. Um, we had another question from Katie Stanton from Twitter. Has UN Command approved or disapproved of um, the mm -hmm. walk? Uh, I can answer yeah, that. Go ahead. Yeah. The, the UN Command had been clear from the very beginning that whatever the two governments decide, they would support. And so at this point, with the agreement between the two Koreas that the women would be crossing at the Kaesong Line, um, the UN command is, I think, providing full support. Um, <coughs> I think we would very much have liked to actually pass through the demarcation zone where um, the where the um, amnesty was signed in 1953, because it is symbolic of the division of North and South Korea. We didn't get permission to do that. We got permission to go through the Kamsong uh, section, but we hope that eventually in time that pe things will open up between North and South Korea, between the UN command and between the governments of North and South Korea. You can't keep a people divided forever. It is totally unjust that the North and South Korean people are not allowed to see their relatives 70 years into partition. That doesn't exist in any country in the world. This is the longest Cold War operating anywhere, and we really have to challenge that. Any other questions? We need to wrap up. We'll take um, one more question from press. Please state your name and affiliation and your question. Any other questions? Okay, well, um, thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again as we cross the Korean DMZ tomorrow at noon. Um, I'm not sure what the connection will be like, but uh, we will definitely try and share the experience with you. Thank you so much for joining. Goodbye. Thank you.